Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we are taking a closer look at a very spiky stegosaur. This is the Cainterosaurus, a close relative of the larger Stegosaurus. Cainterosaurus lived about 152 million years ago in the late Jurassic period. It would have been found in what is now Tanzania in eastern Africa. It was a small stegosaur with an average length of around 4.5 metres, although some larger specimens indicate that it may have reached sizes of around 5.5 metres, and it would have weighed around 1 to 1.5 tonnes, depending on how muscular the tail was. The long muscular tail also gave the Cainterosaurus an unusual centre of mass. This would be positioned much further back than is found in most quadrupedal animals as it was positioned just forward of its hips. This would mean that only around 10-15% to 15 of its total body weight was supported by its front legs. This suggests that the Cainterosaurus may have been able to rear up on its hind legs, perhaps to feed off low-hanging branches as well as the usual low-growing bushes and shrubs that would have made up its diet. It also would have had a very tight turning circle and could have easily used this ability to quickly turn and keep its spiked tail pointed at predators. The spikes of the Cainterosaurus are probably its most defining feature. Like the Stegosaurus, it had bony plates running along its back. However, these were most likely for display purposes as they were not strong enough to have provided any protection but the shorter and fatter plates of the front gradually merged into longer and more pointed spikes towards the rear. These spikes would have provided a formidable defence against attackers. The tail itself had a large number of vertebrae, at least 40, and this meant that the tail was very flexible. It could possibly swing at an arc of 180 degrees, covering the entire half circle behind it. Swing speeds of the tail end may have been as high as 50 km an hour. Continuous rapid swings would have allowed the spikes to slash open the skin of its attacker or to stab the soft tissues and break the ribs or facial bones. More directed blows would have resulted in the sides of the spikes fracturing even sturdy long bones of the legs by blunt trauma. These attacks would have crippled small and medium sized theropods and may even have done some damage to large ones. Earlier interpretations of the defensive behaviour of Cainterosaurus included the suggestion that the animal might have charged to the rear to run through attackers with its spines, in the way of modern porcupines. The legs of the Cainterosaurus were able to splay out to the side and is thought it may have adopted this posture as a defensive measure, possibly in an attempt to guard its underbelly from carnivores. The first fossils of Cainterosaurus were found by a German expedition led by Werner Janisch on 24th July 1910 and described by German paleontologist Edwin Henning in 1915. Henning named the specimen Cainterosaurus, meaning spike lizard. During four field seasons, the German expedition found over 1,200 bones of Cainterosaurus, belonging to about 50 individuals many of which were destroyed during the Second World War. In these specimens it was found that some thigh bones were proportionally more robust than others. This is thought to be an instance of sexual dimorphism, where females differ physically to the males. The proportion of these robust thighs to the more slender ones was about 2 to 1, and it seems likely that in Cainterosaurus society, one male mated with several females, with the females having the more robust thighs. There was another interesting aspect of the spikes of the Cainterosaurus. There is one type of spike that differs from all others in being strongly asymmetrical and having a very broad base. Originally this spike was placed on the hips, but many recent reconstructions place it on the shoulder because a similarly shaped spike is known to have existed on the shoulder in two Chinese stegosaurs. Well that is all for today and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and coming back next time for more videos like this one here at Shredder Zoo.